Hello everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly with a review of the new G2X by Google, which is manufactured by LG and available on the T-Mobile network. Okay, I said it's the G2X by Google. The, a T-Mobile person told me just this very morning that that's how the phone should be branded. It's the G2X by Google and it's made by LG and it's on the T-Mobile network. You can see on the back there's both the LG logo and the with Google here, so maybe it's the uh, G2X with Google. Now when I say with Google, what I mean to say is that this has Android 2.2, in fact it has Android 2.2.2, just in case you're wondering, and uh, the T-Mobile people say that it will have an upgrade to Android 2.3 one month after launch. Now this phone launches tomorrow. Today is Mar excuse me, today is April 19 and it will launch on April 20th. That is tomorrow and one month from launch they are promising an upgrade to Android 2.3 and it's a very basic very unadorned version of Android there's not any uh, particular uh, widgets that have been applied here or any overlays that have been applied by either LG or T-Mobile a very good looking version of Android 2.2 again Android 2.3 in a month is what they promise Okay, so let's talk about this phone. This has a one gigahertz dual core processor. It's a very fast processor. 512 megabytes of processor RAM. A little more RAM would be nice, but we'll make do, especially with the dual core processor. It has eight gigabytes of onboard storage for your files, and it does have a micro SD card slot, but it does not come with a micro SD card. So you're gonna have to put your micro SD card in there. So as the phone ships out of the box, it has eight gig of storage and that's all. You have to add a micro SD card for more storage. Some other interesting features about this, it has an eight megapixel camera back here. That's eight megapixel still image. You can see there's a flash. And it is the first, can the first cell phone that I've hold held that can do 1080p HD video out of the box. Now, the Motorola Atrix, which I've reviewed here on Wirefly, uh, says it can do 1080p HD with an upgrade. However, I've not had that upgrade applied. I don't even know if it's available yet. But the G2X, that's really a mouthful, the G2X says it does 1080p out of the box, and I'll have a video clip for you in just a little while. And I'm sure the sharp viewed out there uh, among you see that there is a front-facing camera. That's a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. I actually took a picture with the front-facing camera, which I'll show shortly. Okay, so here we have the uh, LG G2X by Google or with Google and it's on T-Mobile. Let's take just a little tour around the phone. It has an HDMI connector right there so that's the micro HDMI connection port right next to it is a standard let's put it down here where you can see it a little better uh, has got a standard 3.5 millimeter audio jack that's the on off switch so those are at the top of the phone the HDMI and the audio and the on off switch on the right hand side is the volume up down switches on the bottom is the micro USB port that you use to sync with your computer and for charging and there's nothing on this side now this looks like it should be a kickstand but it is just a chrome uh, decoration here not so much chrome as it is brushed aluminum let's go ahead and take the back cover off it's not really so hard to take the back cover off it has a 1500 milliamp hour battery there is the T-Mobile SIM card. This is the slot where the micro SD card goes, and as I said, it doesn't have a micro SD card with it. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, some of what the features are on this phone. Got a decent camera, it's got an eight megapixel camera, and it can do the uh, 1080p uh, video, as I mentioned. Here's a uh, little credit card I like to take pictures of, and um, I can uh, hopefully show you there. Nah. Okay, we will go ahead and swap the camera. That's where you uh, swap to the front-facing camera. Here's the front-facing camera right there. So, hey, who's that old bald guy? Wait a minute, I'm that old bald guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry I used that joke once before. Okay, let's go back to the rear camera here. There we go. So to take a picture, you just touch this and it will go ahead and focus 
and it'll decide whether you want a macro shot or not. I've noticed that uh, macro shots are only good within about a couple inches or so. So let me go ahead and show the photographs that I've taken with the G2X by Google and uh, here's some still images. First I tried a little still life on my desk and uh, under the fluorescent lights it was uh, I thought very yellow. Now I went to the white balance and attempted to white balance it uh, for fluorescent lights and it was still just as yellow. However, when I zoomed in on the shot, when I held the camera a little closer, it seemed to white balance better. So here's a close-up, and uh, the white balance looks better. And then I did an intense close-up, where you can really see that penny and uh, see how clear it is. So it did a pretty good job with the macro focus on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at flesh tones. That's Luis on the left and Jen on the right. Now I used the built-in camera flash, the single LED flash. That just put a little bit of sparkle in their faces, a little sparkle in their eyes, but uh, did not light up their faces as well as I thought it would. I was about four feet away. The background obviously is very bright. There's a lot of light coming in from the back. So that makes it a difficult thing, but I thought the flesh tones looked pretty good. I wish the focus was a little sharper on their faces, but it is what it is. Okay, so I've also uh, shot a little video with this camera, uh, with the phone rather, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the video looks like from the G2X with Google by LG on T-Mobile. Okay, that's a, a couple of holly berries. They're both red and yellow on a holly bush here on the Wirefly campus. That is the Wirefly building there in the background. It's a mild spring day in April, kind of pleasant. Trees finally have some leaves on them, which is pleasant to see. There's a couple drops of rain falling from the overcast sky. And this is what the full HD video looks like on the G2X by Google, which is on the T-Mobile network and made by LG.